Hello and welcome to another edition of Match Analysis Monday. My name is Swiss and I'm here to help you analyze. Today we're going to be analyzing Mars versus Omar at Genesis 7. Omar, if you guys don't know him, is one of the actually the best snake in Dominican Republic and ranks number two on the PGR in Dominican Republic as well. So very, very good snake. I played him before too. He's plays really, really well. Really good snake player. So we're going to dive in, go over Mars versus Omar, see how he actually handles it. Other than that, let's analyze. It's showtime. All right, so just a few shouts to go over real quick. Obviously, BTS Smash or Beyond the Summit Smash. Make sure you guys sub, sub to them if you want to check out all the Genesis 7 stuff and future events and so on and so forth. Uh, Omar also has a Twitter. I'll be linking that in the description down below. And he just started up a Twitch account. So I'll also leave that in the description down below. Make sure you guys support him as a fellow snake player. So obviously, you know, Omar is the snake player. And then Mars, obviously, the Zero Suit Samus. Uh, just a general generalization of the match real quick uh, with... Zero Suit Samus, we want to watch out for some of her moves, have really, 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 really little end lag, so it can be hard to punish at times. Uh, watch out for the side B, the paralyzer, which is the, the down smash and the neutral B, and most importantly, flip kick, of course. Um, this tournament took place before the Zero Suit, uh, Zero Suit Samus's nerf to the down B grounded option, or like when the when it hits grounded, when it puts you in the ground, that is. So um, yeah, as far as like, setting up a uh edge guard with nikita we want to hover it over them or you know when they're on ledge sometimes they like to use flip kick to go over everything too so we have to be mindful of that but um that's just a quick journalization let's go ahead and get right into the match starting with game one all right gonna lower the volume a little bit <clears throat> So Omar is really good at like making keeping your opponent in one spot and that's a really good combo right there grenade nair into the down tilt knowing for sure like how far zero suit sam is going to be is going to be pushed out of that from that nair all right using some face to get in seeing what options he's going to use there goes the flip kick and you can see that he just hovers it right over to to actually hit them out of that flip kick it's really really good he's got that c4 there he's going to play behind that Stop Zero Suit from coming in. All right, and he did land that C4 really, really well. So you can see the bait here. So he goes he goes off stage, force Mars to actually chase him right into that C4 really, really well. Really well. I really like his jump cancels from Nair too. I mean from Nade. Really, really good. Okay, nice trade. We'll take that, especially because Snake is in the lead now. Trades are going to be whatever at this point, because it'll help. It'll help bring that damage up, that percent damage up, and Zero Suit dies pretty early too. Really well, getting that C4. Okay, try to get the back air. Not the best option, of course, because of how he positioned it. If he went for Nair one, that would have been crazy, but he still lives, so not a big deal. All right, he's going to use a C4 and the grenade to help him get back on stage. Really great recovery option. And he gets clipped by that side B. All right, 50%. That's really, really good. And he lands the Nair. Really nice. And he knew that he would flip kick again. You could see that. Zero Suit Samus players love to flip kick back on the stage, whether it's onto the ledge or they grab ledge and then flip kick over or just flip kick generally, generally right here to get back on stage too. And he lands that up air. You can tell that he knows the matchup and he knows how to actually control flip kick and take advantage of it. Good trade, we'll take that. Now if he get if he can get the C4 up till, he should be able to close the stock at this point. Okay, now now Mars is starting to use Zare. And Zare seems to be working out. It comboed into the dash attack. He also got clipped by by a grenade from it. Goes for the ledge, but accidentally SDs. So that's that's going to put him down. And, um, of course, SDs are not what we want against top-level players. Because they can take advantage of that really, really easily. You can see that Mars has switched to using Zare, which is going to help, like, take care of, um, 
take care of that range problem that that she has so Zare's lo looking really really good and you can see the crawls too like he's how he's crawling he's trying to get under like the um their neutral be the paralyzer and then they can he can also go under uh, aerials as well nice grab good dash attack Using the Nikita to keep him out. Nice wall. Gets under the Paralyzer. And Mars had a great roll. That was a really good roll read from um from Mars. So snake players, when when we have nades out or when we land with nades or have a nade in general, we typically want to roll either left or right. And Mars read that perfectly. That was really good. And of course the Paralyzer into into the spike and got back up so that was really good that was a really nice tech as well it's clipped by that nair good option choosing the platform too because normally here what what a snake player would do is either go for the ledge or they're gonna air dodge in to think that to try to fake the opponent from actually if the opponent rushes in then we'll air dodge through to um, to get right by them without having to get hit and then try to punish. But notice how Omar just chooses to land on the platform. Really, really good movement here. That was really good. He's playing in the corner. He's going to have to get out of that. Play a little bit more stage uh, stage control or center stage. And he did regain center stage too, but he moves back into the corner and gets hit by that side B. So like you can see here that... Omar is like playing in the corner, which is pretty scary at this percent, of course, because side B is there and we're at he's at 133. And then this side B almost hits. Now we cannot duck side B, of course. So really, really good job pulling up the shield. He comes in, gets gets a little bit more center stage. Mars gets the back, goes for a back air, thinking that Omar is gonna roll back, but he doesn't. Not able to punish it because Zero Suit has Virtually no end lag on any of her moves. And then he gets the grenade into the back air. Gets center stage back. But then um, he B reverses here, which was another good option because if he didn't, side B could have potentially caught him here. And now that he's lost center stage, Mars takes control. And then is able to get the side B. So that was a really good match. Very, very close. Uh, the only issue was the only big issue was just that you know he sd'd that was he was winning that match too so now we're going to move into game two and see how game two goes all right so they're going to take it back to battlefield now I, i'm going to say it um real quick i'm not a hundred percent familiar with stage advantages when it comes to snake versus zero suit uh, I would assume Battlefield is good. Uh, I don't know what Mars banned as well. If they ban, if he banned PS2 or anything like that, um, or uh, I don't, I don't believe Smashville or Town City is good if I remember correctly because a B can kill us earlier from the sides. So I think, so I guess um, Battlefield is going to be the good option here, and he's really good at using the down tilt, getting that damage. All right, gets air dodge back on stage, but drops shield to get jabbed. Gets back aired there. He could have dropped dropped cipher a little bit earlier, but not a big deal. Still even in percent. Now he's winning. Okay, good back air. Oh, he gets grabbed there. End up beating his grab. He gets clipped again. Now he could have. He could have like, dropped cipher early. But he went for, which he did, but he went for a back, I mean, a down air. And then that's a big punish, of course, because Mars wasn't under him. Real, really good option here, too. You could see that when he recovers, he's moving forward, right? And then he switches and stops moving forward. Because if he went any more forward, this back air would have killed him for sure. So using this option to just move forward and then go straight up instead is really, really good. Makes it hard to hit, makes it harder to actually punish Snake for trying to get back on stage, and he's going to go for that ledge. Okay, goes up high. Yep. Nice job using the C4 and grenade to get to that ledge. 
gets grabbed there. We can't duck that. Or I believe we can, but I, if I'm correct, it's certain spacing. I'm not too sure. You guys will have to um, correct me on that. I'm sure Omar would. Okay, gets grabbed again. Now you can see here that... So like when he loses the stock, so he's starting to play... He's starting to like come in more, a little bit more of an offense with that nair, try to get the back air, gets grabbed into the jab. Now he's in disadvantage. Now he gets hit with the paralyzer. Luckily, he didn't get the F smash. That was really good. The one thing that... The one thing that I don't understand about Mars, I don't know why he doesn't go for up B after up air strings when other zero suit players do. All right, now we're now we're seeing Omar actually use actually um do some some edge guarding, which uh, we, we haven't seen too much because of course Zero Suit can just flip kick over stuff, and Mars is really good at getting back on stage really fast to stop to stop Snake from actually being able to set up any form of an edge guard. So we're seeing that here, which is you see how he handles it. So he keeps the grenade to cover the neutral get up, light throws to cover the jump. He's going to use the up smash as well to cover that too and that's going to cover flip kick too so if he flip kicks then this up smash is there but uh, he got hit by that grenade he's got that c4 right here too so he can use that and then uh, mars rolls right into that up tilt so omar is really really good at trapping his opponents all right gets hit by an up air okay oh that's gonna be okay good stuff you can see the the aerial movement from Omar is really good because snake players normally don't want to go for ledge because uh, a lot of snake players, they're too focused on actually moving towards center stage or just dropping down here, but not going for ledge. And he does really well going for ledge here. Really, really good option. The patience. All right, gets clipped by that up air though for going up high. Now, when he got hit by that up air, Let's see. So like he kept going for ledge, right? So he decided I'm certain he decides, okay, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go up high this time. But then that that up air catches him. It looks like he tried to set up his coverage option to go down for ledge as well again. But that C4 does have some so has a little bit of lag when you drop it too, so ends up getting clipped for it. Okay, good Nair. Nice dash attack. 58% though, not terrible. He can still he can still make, make this work. Zero suit is not heavy anyways, so. I would have tried to down tilt here, if anything. Because you guys know that when you throw something, you can't shield like immediately. So right when he threw it, I would have I would have went for a down tilt to clip him. He's looking for that up tilt though. Oh no. All right, the C4 saved him. That is crazy. So he does get the flip kick, obviously. Again, when you edge guard zero, so you want to be careful for that, but he does get clipped. The grenade was, surprisingly, didn't pop him up into that up smash, which is, of course, what Mars was looking for. But then he lands right on the platform, and then that C4 takes that stock for him. Really good. Now, now it's a lot more even. 56% is not bad at all. All right, nice be reverse to get out. Oh, but he gets spiked. Let's see that. Yeah, he he caught him before Omar can even land on the ground, and he just ends up taking it. So very unfortunate. There wasn't really anything he could do there. He just couldn't get on the ground in time. Uh, unless let's see. Unless I don't know if he was trying to land on platform. Well, it looks like he could have landed on platform, but. Yeah, I'm not sure if he just missed it or if he was trying to fast fall through it. But he's clipped by the Nair into the down B. So, really good set overall. I mean, Omar definitely has what it takes to beat to beat Mars. Um, it's just the unfortunate SD in the first stock. And then the second stock was just more of the lines of Mars just really taking over at that point And pretty much got, got the read. Um, so, that was... Really good stuff by Omar. But uh, I really hope you guys learned something from this match. Uh, I did for sure, watching this set in general. 
to at least understand how to fight zero suit a little bit more than than I did before if I were to fight Zero Suit Sam. So very, very, very good. Shout outs to Omar again. I have his Twitter and his Twitch in the description down below. So make sure you check that out. And I have other social media platforms myself down below as well. So make sure you guys check that out. Again, my name is Swiss. Thank you so much for letting me analyze for you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Never duplicate you, never multiply two. Everyone copy your pace, mask all up in on their face. This is fantasy and be haste. They are cool with their complaints. Uh, uh, uh. You feel it in you? Then you brush it off you. It's significant, but you got something we want. And your whole life is a taunt. Cause you will not just comply. Waking up for your day.